Spurgeon here with RevZilla TV to talk to you about the Olympia Air Glide 5 mesh jacket available at RevZilla.com. So for 2016, they've taken the Air Glide 4, they've thrown it out the window, and they've come back with the redesigned Air Glide 5 that you see on my left hand side right now. Now, the biggest thing that we've seen, aside from the stylistic update that Olympia has made, is they've redesigned the rain liner in the Air Glide 5. They've gone to an over-under liner, so you can wear it underneath the jacket for waterproof protection to keep your body dry, or it's up just about a half a size, so you can take it out and you can wear it over top of the jacket to make sure that everything stays nice and dry. Now, as far as seasonality is concerned, the Air Glide 5 remains three season. You're thinking spring, summer, fall. There's a full sleeve thermal liner under there, so you can stretch it into the cooler months. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, Buzzsaw on my left hand side is going to be six foot, 215 pounds with a 46 inch chest. He is going to be wearing a large. Keep in mind, Olympia has that generous American cut, so this is going to be very typical from what we'd expect from them. Now, as far as the pants are concerned, Olympia does have a matching pants. Keep in mind, it's going to be one number behind. So the Air Glide 4 mesh pants are going to be the new version for 2016. The number is one behind because they came out a season later than the original Air Glide jacket. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, sizes are going to range from a small up to a 4XL, and there is a women's version available. So for all you ladies out there, as we're talking about this particular jacket, all of the functionality will carry through. There's just more of an articulated cut for the female form in the women's version. Now, as far as colorways are concerned, there's four different colors available for this jacket. Buzzsaw on my left is gonna be wearing the pewter and the ivory, and then there's also gonna be a high-vis version. The thing to note with the high-vis version is that it gets the high-vis rain liner, where the other three colorways get the standard black rain liner. Now, as far as Olympia is concerned, we know Olympia from the world of touring and adventure gear. They make quality American pieces that are really gonna stand out for the touring and adventure rider. And with the Air Glide 5 mesh jacket, this is gonna come in right around that $290 price point, and it's gonna have that three season functionality. If you like the functionality of the jacket, you simply want a longer, more adventure style cut, check out the Dakar jacket. It's gonna give you the same functionality as far as seasonality is concerned, just a longer flow to it. If you want something four season, check out the Expedition jacket. That'll get you full four season use. Now, as far as the materials in the Air Glide 5 are concerned, no changes here. We have 500D Cordura working with ballistic mesh panels. So you see in your impact zones, that's where the Cordura is gonna really come into play to give you that abrasion resistance. And yet you're gonna have those huge mesh panels on your chest, on your shoulders, your underarms, really to push through the air and make sure you stay nice and cool in the summer riding months. So starting with the collar and working our way through this, the collar remains the same, really nice, comfortable rolled neoprene to the collar. And as you work your way down, the first thing you're gonna notice is they've segmented the reflectivity. So you still have the 3M piping, but it doesn't run in one continuous form. It starts at the shoulders. It then picks back up again at the bicep, and then it works its way down and segments into the forearm, working its way around those mesh panels. As far as the protection is concerned, it stays the same. You're gonna have CE rated armor at the shoulders, at the elbows to keep you nice and safe in the event of a crash. And one thing I wanna point out, Edward, I'm gonna hold your hand up here. You do have the nice Velcro adjuster at the wrist to be able to make sure this is nice and closed. And you do have the adjuster at the bicep so you can fine tune this piece down to really articulate the fit against your body. Now, working your way through the chest on this, the main update you're gonna see with the styling piece for the five is they've changed the pockets. They've gotten away from the horizontal pockets and they've gone to a vertical pocket, one on either side of the chest, and then you still have the hand warmer pockets working down the side. Ed, just turn your face away from me for a second. Now, before you throw a hand up in the rider position, check out the logo. Olympia has changed their logo. They've gone away from that rubberized logo on the sleeve and they've added a really nice, clean silkscreen logo. Ed, if you throw your hand up for me, what thing, one of the things you're gonna see is again that, that segmentation of the reflectivity as it works its way down. It starts again at the mesh area. It doesn't continue all the way down through the shoulder blade with the new jacket. Now again, nice slight pre-curve to the sleeve, gonna work with a variety of different motorcycles out there, both in a tuck and an upright position. A lot of functionality with this particular piece. And as far as adjustments go, you do have a snap adjuster at the waist and then one again down at the bottom of the jacket in Velcro. So you can really fine tune the articulation of the fit to match with your body style. Buzzsaw, turn and face backwards for me, please. 
Now, starting at the top, working our way through, nice high collar of this. Again, that rolled neoprene with a little reflective strip. It's going to work great to really get up underneath the helmet. Make sure you don't have any extra airflow, especially as the months become a little bit cooler. Working your way down, you can see, again, the reflectivity working its way across the top of this. And the real nice piece with the Olympia jacket, there's a CE1 back protector included. Olympia gets a big pat in the back for me for including a full-on back protector standard in their jacket. Now you can see that ballistic mesh working its way down both sides, really helping to pull the airflow through. And the biggest change that we're gonna see on the back from Olympia for the Airglide 5 is they've added a drop seat. So this is gonna work really nicely to match where the pants end and the jacket begins, especially if you're in more of that full tuck position. But so I'll turn around face forward for me. I don't have you go ahead and unzip the jacket. Now one of the things you're gonna notice, YKK zips, but it is going to have a new rubberized pull on all the zippers for both the pockets for the hand warmers as well as for the main zipper. And as he opens this up, this is where we're going to get into the rain liner. Now keep in mind, this is really the biggest update that we've seen with this piece. It is going to be a over under rain liner, full zip in, full zip out. You do have the Napoleon pocket built in the side and keep in mind, there's a full sleeve thermal liner associated with this. The full sleeve thermal liner is going to zip into the inside of the rain jacket. So as you begin to heat up, you can take the full sleeve liner out. That rain liner will act as a wind barrier. And then if you want, you take the full sleeve rain liner out and then you have a full mesh jacket. You can then put that rain liner back on over top of your jacket to wear it as a rain suit as needed. So really great functionality as we've seen Olympia change for 2016 with this new over under styled rain suit. And the last thing I wanna highlight here is I unzip this and you can see on the inside, really nice mesh slip lining for the jacket. So even if you're just wearing the outer shell, you're just wearing it with a t-shirt, it's gonna be nice and comfortable and it's gonna help to wick sweat away in those warmer summer months. But so you can go ahead and zip that up for me. Now again, as he's zipping this up, keep in mind, three season functionality here and a lot of different varieties and seasonality that you're gonna get as far as the conditions of the road are concerned. If it starts to rain, you can pull that rain liner back out, you can put it on over top and just a really great functional piece with this. Now there's a lot of riders out there rocking Olympia gear. If you wanna hear more about what they have to say, click the info button. Check out what other Olympia jackets riders are rocking on their rides. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate. Get in the phone, give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Olympia Airglide 5 mesh jacket. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.